this is your ulna. And the ulna, you can remember this is the ulna because it has a U. See the U for the ulna? And there are several parts of the ulna to know. First we have the olecranon. This is the olecranon of the ulna. And that's what the, this makes up the el, your elbow, the back of your elbow. So remember the back of the elbow is called the olecranon region. So that's why. This is the olecranon. This region is called the trochlear notch. This whole region in here is the trochlear notch. And this, if I get an angle just right, is the coronoid process. So we have the olecranon, the trochlear notch, and the coronoid process. And then if I angle this the right way so you can see it, hopefully you can, there's a little indentation in here. I'm going to angle it a many different ways. You had to feel it on the bone, really. There's an indentation here on the side of the ulna where the radius pivots when you supinate your arm. You pronate and supinate. And this is where the radius will pivot in this region. Remember that the annular ligament goes around in this region and holds the radius onto the ulna. So when you supinate and pronate, that radius will do this. And it does it in this region right here called the radial notch. I'm not sure if you can see that. Various angles. There it is. It's the radial notch. So the olecranon, the trochlear notch, the coronoid process, and here is the radial notch on the ulna. And this is actually the head of the ulna. The head of the ulna is on the distal region of the ulna because this is the bottom of the ulna. This is the top, this is the proximal region, this is on the distal region, but this is the head of the ulna. And the last part that you have to know the ulna is this region right here. It's the styloid process. So that's your ulna. Once you know your ulna, it's, it's good to learn the humerus next because all of these regions right here fit into the humerus nicely.